The next vision is divine judgment. This is chapters 4 through 16. This vision of John shows divine judgment on the world of sin. And here he describes the sequences of judgment known as seals, trumpets, bowls, in order to show God pouring out his wrath. Victory in Christ is chapters 17 through 20. John's third vision pictures victory of the victory of Christ over evil. And here he shows the destruction of secular civilization, the return of Christ in glorious victory, and the millennial reign of Christ. Ultimate triumph is in chapter 21 through 22, 5. This is John's final vision, and Christ here is shown in triumph and victory. This vision would give hope and inspiration to his original audience who were being persecuted. The final section is where John relays to the church's warnings and promises he received from Christ. And I want to read just a couple of uh, passages from the very last chapter of the book of Revelation. Now, from the beginning of the Old Testament, we've not seen the tree of life. But here in the last chapter of the last book of the Bible, the tree of life appears again. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God, and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood a tree, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. The angel said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. The Lord, the God of the spirits and the prophets, sent his angels to show his servants the things that must soon take place. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book. And that, my friends, is the end of the lectures for New Testament history. You made it.